How you doing? It's me, I'm back. What better place to be but in the bathroom? This is the first ever bathroom block. Check out the decor. Anyhow, as I sit here reading my literature, Sports Illustrated, Richie, my friend, calls me up after he saw that blog of me playing the air guitar. He says, Sylvia, I want to be in your band. I'm looking at the phone like, Richie, what band? Well, I want to play an instrument. Well, well, I don't play bass. You want to play the bass or maybe a couple other instruments you think about playing. You know, he plays the flute, Richie. So. And then I, it dawned on me. Let me start an air band. Better yet, Richie, I told him, I want to start an air symphony. I want to get a brass section, a wood section. I want everybody there. I'll even be like the, the conductor. I want flute players. I want violin players. A couple of, maybe a couple of women harp players. Everything. Cello, bassoon, the French horns, different sections. It's going to be insane. I can't wait to get this band together. People say to me, Sylvia, man, how long do you spend on the boat? I tell them, I, I sit down the half hour. I usually stay on the boat until my leg falls asleep and I just topple over. I'm on the highway, I'm driving. And I, well, I was upstate somewhere in the mountains. And I'm driving, and I'm driving. And I had, I had a crap attack. I had to really take a crap. So I pull over on the highway, and I go in the woods, and I, I use the leaves. Unbeknownst to me, them leaves ended up being poison ivory that I was scratching my ass for three weeks. I had calamine lotion I was putting on the cheeks of my ass. What startles me mostly in life is who decided to name number two, number two. Why couldn't they name number two, like number 68 or number 432 or how about, hey, hey, sir, where are you? I'm on the ball doing number 9,632. Who thought of naming number two, number two? I can't, I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll call up some professor from Harvard or Yale. Maybe they can explain it to me. I can't wait for my wife's sister to see this blog because Jennifer, like me, does all her reading on the ball. So Jennifer, when you see this, I want you to critique this blog and get Tom to put the camera on you. Later on, when my wife comes home, I'm going to take this camera and put it on her. Because I know when she sees this blog, she's going to be totally mortified. i got a couple of people that complain about my blog being Italian with no subtitles. Well, listen, if you really want to know what I'm saying on the blog, you got to get somebody that speaks Italian or learn Italian. In a couple of days, I'm going to be putting on my version of Towards the Night Before Christmas. And you're going to dig this. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. 